have a lot to go over today because we now have an official release date to Marvel Infinity along with some crazy updates to DC Universe Reborn, Tangled Web, and Heroes Unlimited. So yeah, this video is going to be epic. Of course, make sure to subscribe and check out all the amazing channel members. And now let's get into this. All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back. So sorry about the weird phone audio today. Like I'm going to use my phone to get this footage. But pretty much, we got some awesome release dates, guys, from Marvel Infinity, DC Universe Reborn, Heroes Unlimited. Like, there's a lot of stuff coming. I'm so hyped for that. I know you guys are too, so we're getting right into this. So, for the heavy hitter today, Marvel Infinity, everybody wants to know when the game is coming out. Because it's going to be the biggest superhero game slash Marvel game Roblox has ever had. Content-wise and playable character-wise, maybe besides DC Universe Reborn, Marvel Infinity is going to be insane. And now, you guys can see in the announcement up here. So, Converse, one of their mods, actually said, we are getting Marvel Infinity April 17th and that is confirmed by them hopefully with no delays and we can be expecting it to come on that day. And that also means Hype Week will be coming a week before that so April 10th. And I'm also one of the creators who is lucky enough to actually get involved with Hype Week so I will be able to get you guys a bunch of content in live streams for Marvel Infinity before everyone can play it so you guys will know exactly what to be looking forward to and how fun the game is actually going to be. And with this they actually did a Twitch live stream right after and they kind of went over everything that we can be expecting did some gameplay and pretty much what they did with that as well is they kind of just talked about this, some of the developers on there some of the mods and they talked a lot about what's coming to marvel infinity we saw a lot of the powers from scarlet witch we saw uh the intro screen where you can select each character there was a lot of content there and we can kind of just get an understanding for how much we're going to be able to have in marvel infinity and how fun the game's actually going to be because there was going to be a ton of content and i'm just so beyond hyped for it and also recently there have been a lot of spider-man leaks iron spider and spider-man leaks coming to the game so the original Spider-Man swinging used to be swinging on the sky, but since like uh, Envisioned Web vs. Tangled Web has come out, all the best Spider-Man games, they had to up it up because this is going to be, from what they're saying, the best Marvel game on Roblox. So now they're swinging, you swing on buildings, there's iron spider legs, probably going to be close to Envisioned Web vs. Tangled Web. We're going to have to see because it's not a Spider-Man game, but it's going to be on that level, I'm assuming. Now, I want to move on from this for now, but there's still a lot more Marvel Infinity content to go over. So I will do more videos as we get closer to the release date, April 17th. And of course, Hype Week, April 10th. Now, the next topic today, DC Universe Reborn, one of the most hyped superhero games coming to Roblox, especially if you're a DC fan. It's kind of going to be like the, I would say, Marvel Infinity version for DC almost. They're having 32 plus locations to go to. There's going to be an insane amount of content you can play for pretty much any DC character you want to. All right, real quick, if you notice I'm in a change of clothes, I'm recording this video on my phone as I told you in the beginning, so it's kind of a hassle making this. So if there's only one video this week, I'm sorry about that. It's just taking a long time to do this. But pretty much getting back to DC Universe Reborn, we got some really cool news today and a release date. All right, so as of now, DC Universe Reborn is getting released March 12th. Now they have delayed this a little bit due to testing. They, were, they didn't have a super solid test at first, but now they're having like a crazy test. They're gonna make sure everything is working really well. So we don't have another Heroes Unlimited situation, which is really good news. I want the game to be as high quality as possible. And from what I know, we're getting starters like Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, Batman, all people who are gonna be really good for just fighting and doing PvP. This is gonna be a skill-based game, remember? And there's gonna be some grinding aspects to it, but really more skill-based. Kind of like Overwatch we talked about in my last video about DC and Rift Reborn, where you all have the same levels and skills, but whoever can use them better. And we have some really good leaks up here as well. And th with all these leaks coming, I think we're just really excited to see how this is gonna compare to also Marvel Infinity, because they are gonna be very similar to a PvP type game with a lot of locations, because DC and Rift Reborn is going to have 32 plus locations. I know, that's a crazy amount, but that's what's coming. So I'm really hyped for that. We got some flash leaks as well. Like everything's looking great. And I showed you guys in past videos, so many characters are coming with this. Um, and we just know there's gonna be no pay to win with this. It's all gonna be customizability if you're gonna have to pay Robux. So everyone's gonna be on the same level. Kind of like again, an Overwatch where you can buy skins with more money if you want to. So I'm really hyped for that. I think it's gonna be really cool and a lot of, I think it's gonna be a really fun experience. It's the closest game to releasing. Um, and Marvel Infinity comes a month after that. So we're gonna have DC Universe Reborn, Marvel Infinity, and then I'm gonna switch over to Heroes Unlimited in a second and talk to you guys about that. So recently, one of their mods in the Heroes Unlimited Discord uh, actually made an announcement because I did make an announcement also in my last video that they don't have a script there and they need one, but they luckily did find one. And one of their mods made an announcement in their Discord talking about what's coming. So there is no definite release date for Heroes Unlimited yet, but the alpha is going to cost 200 Robux. But this is going to come with new suits.
suits, better AI, better animations, alter egos as well with new abilities, more planets, a better space system, like in general. And then of course, there's gonna be a leveling system, which is the best part about it. This also comes with the reputation system as well, very similar to Age of Heroes, which is super cool. And as you guys have seen, it's probably one of the highest quality games out there right now that has Marvel and DC combined in one game. So I'm really excited to see where the game goes because I'm a huge Age of Heroes fan, probably one of my top games ever on Roblox. So I'm excited to see what happens with it. And hopefully they do a better bug test this time so we don't get screwed over like I did last time because that did not end well. But also, if you guys are looking for a new Spider-Man game to play, Tangled Web has recently just dropped and I'll probably make a solo video on that soon. But February 22nd, uh, they released the demo to Tangled Web. So if you guys want to go check that out, it's actually really, really cool. Um, it's a lot of fun too. I have checked it out. I haven't played it on stream yet. I've been really busy trying to get my microphone to work. But go check out Tangled Web. It's very similar to what we did in my last Tangled Web video. You just gotta unlock skins now instead of having like Miles Morales right off the bat. You gotta unlock it. So it's really cool and I can't wait to see where they take it. It's a lot of fun and a lot of cool flips and abilities that they've added as well. And there's pizza time as far as I know. Now a little bonus for today's video that I thought was very interesting was Ali, otherwise known as Surfos, the developer for games like Iron Man Simulator 2, uh, also games like of Heroes, one of my favorites of all time, I actually made an announcement, I think it was a couple weeks ago, actually around January, and he said he was looking for developers for his new game coming up. So whatever that could be about, that is hype, because I know he said Iron Man Simulator 2 has a shot to be updated one day, so maybe he wants to update Iron Man Simulator 2, maybe he's working on some sort of new Age of Heroes game, maybe he's working on something completely different. Who knows, because that is really hype, and he's one of my favorite developers ever on Roblox because he adds so much detail to his game. He really goes beyond the limits of most Marvel such DC games we see today. So I cannot wait to see what happens because I would love an Iron Man Simulator 2 update. We never got that Mark 85. I would love a revamped Age of Heroes because, again, it's probably one of my favorite games ever on Roblox. And I have seen Iron Man Simulator 2 it was actually updated one month ago. So it's not like this game is dead. It still has like an active 2,000 players. It's a Sunday today in the middle of the day. So who knows what's going to happen. His games are always active because he knows how to keep his games engaging. So it's kind of in the little bonus thing I wanted to talk about because I really haven't brought that up. And he's one of my favorite developers ever on Roblox. And Age of Heroes was updated three months ago. So again, who knows? But that's really, really hype in my opinion. And then the group also still says no news for now as we talked about in the Truth for Iron Man Simulator 2 video. So, you know, I'm excited to see what comes with this, uh, what we can get. So with that said, we don't have a Marvel Infinity release date. We are getting that next month. So we are getting ready for Hype Week. I am going to be your guy. If you guys want Marvel Infinity content, make sure you subscribe and like because I'm going to be your guy for everything. I'm going to live stream, get as much footage as I can from Marvel Infinity, go over every single character in depth, go over all the PvP skills. I'm really hyped for that. Same goes for DC Universe Reborn because as far as I know, they're also going to be having a Hype Week. So I'm really, really excited for that. And then Heroes Unlimited, whenever that comes out, I would assume with the rate they're going at now and how fast uh, Frost can actually make things, Heroes Unlimited, I would say, is coming out in a couple months. You know, who knows? It depends how fast the script can go. If they do a better test, the game has some real potential, though. And then Tangled Web, we're going to have to see where that goes because it's just in paid alpha right now. Uh, but as we get further, I'm really excited to see where that goes because, you know, we also envisioned Webverse is coming very, very soon. I don't know too much about that. We got a lot coming. This is the year for superhero games on Roblox, whether you're a Marvel slash DC fan. I am so excited for this. If you guys want more Marvel slash DC content, uh, make sure to go check out my last video. We're going over the best Batman game on Roblox, in my opinion, since the Batman is coming out March 4th. So I'm super hyped for that as well. It's just overall, this is a great year for superhero fans. I am so hyped. You guys should be hyped as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Go check out the Batman video.